Hey Bible lovers, I'm Tim Nichols. I'm here to bring you your Nichols Worth and today we are featuring the NRSV personal size large print Bible with Apocrypha from Zondervan in the Premier Collection with the Purple Goat Skin. That's a mouthful. A lot of stuff going on here. Of course you know with the Premier Collection you're going to get an awesome box, but just a few things to point out about this. Number one is this purple. Man, that purple is definitely purple. It took me a bit to get used to it, but I actually have really learned to love it. It has all your traditional things that you would have with your Premier Collection. It has your raised hubs on the spine, your gold stamping, has your perimeter stitching, it has your edge lining. One thing I do wish they would have done is I wish they just went ahead and gone all black inside. Um, that looks a little abrupt to me, but that's probably just a personal preference. Um, most folks probably won't have any kind of an issue with it, but it is beautiful. The gold gilt line there, uh, there's just nothing to dislike about this. One thing I really, really like about it is they took a gamble and they went with the speckled gilding. Check that out. That is super nice. Of course, they always put really nice ribbons in there. These aren't a Beresford ribbon, but they are very close in quality, very nice. They took the gilt line into the hollow of the spine there, which I think is nice. I also wish they'd have took a little bit more of a bold step with the headbands and tailbands versus the gray, but I tell you what, I'm not gonna complain too much about it. So anyway, let's dive into the text block because this is where it's really amazing. Okay, it is a double column, 10 point font. It does not have any cross references. It does have a few textual notes and check it out. They decided to put them both in the inner column. That's a very interesting choice. So anyway, I'll just to give you a comparison. This is a 10 and a half point font in the same text. So as you can see, that looks significantly larger. So I would probably put this more to 9.5, but it is super close to a 10 and it is extremely readable. Super nice. This has actually got the Apocrypha as well, but this is arranged in the Catholic order where the Apocrypha is included in the Old Testament. So check this out. I love what they did here. Another thing I wish they would have done is since the Bible and the cover is purple, I wish they would have like made this purple, maybe made the chapter uh, header here purple, just to kind of add a little more color and life to the text. Anyhow, as you get into the Apocrypha, I want to show you what they do because this is pretty amazing. Get out of the Old Testament, get into the beginning, and they list their traditions. It's just so cool how they handled this. This is how I would love to see every Apocrypha handled. So they put it between the Testaments to make it clear to Protestants that, hey, we are not saying this is part of the Old Testament. We are not saying this is part of the New Testament. Then you get into Tobit, and they list. It says, the books and parts of the books from Tobit through 2 Maccabees are recognized as deuterocanonical scripture by the Roman Catholic Church, the Greek and Russian Orthodox Church. So they tell you which uh, churches honor these traditions. And then as you go through the different, oh, another thing that's really cool about this is this one has the Greek Esther and it also has the Hebrew Esther. So you have the advantage of having both copies of the book of Esther in one Bible. So that's, that's really slick. I thought that was a super, super choice. And then as you move into the Apocrypha more and more, you get into your Maccabees, and then once you get past Second Maccabees, which is generally accepted by your Orthodox and accepted by your uh, Catholics, it moves into more traditions. So it says the books from First Ezra's, Third Maccabees are recognized as deuterocanonical scripture by the Greek and Russian Orthodox churches. They are not recognized by the Roman Catholics, Greek Orthodox. So they let you know, these are the groups that kind of accept these books. So they made some really great decisions here. Number one, the layout, double column, no cross references. That allows it to be kind of in a handy sized, but yet it's still got a pretty good sized font on it. They kind of didn't do a lot of margin space. They didn't do a lot of cross references. They really wanted to cram as much text on a single page as possible. This looks to have about eight words per line, which is really good. Another good decision that I think they made, which is a compromise, no red letter. Really happy about that. Uh, I love the dark, consistent black letter. The comfort print in the uh, NRSV is just one of my favorites. But moving to the end, there are several lined note pages, and then that is it. Okay, now the reason they didn't include an, a concordance, no maps, by the way, for you, you map haters, no maps in this thing. The reason they didn't include the concordance in this is because it would have added thickness. They added, number one, a second copy of the book of Esther from the Greek perspective. They added all your apocryphal books to include all the way down to the Russian Orthodox Church. 
I almost kind of wish they'd went ahead and throw in Enoch because the Coptic church accepts, accepts that, but I also understand why they didn't. This is really neat. It's the, the, the purple is a bold choice. A couple things I hope. I hope they release this in more colors because I think that that would help as well. And I also hope they release this layout, minus the Apocrypha, because some translations don't do the Apocrypha. In this layout, it has the poetic settings and it has your narrative settings. This is just beautiful. I love these accents up here. And again, I just wish they'd have done those in purple. Um, maybe even the page numbers and the headers and maybe that first chapter, possibly even the subtitles in purple just to give it a little more pop. So anyhow, this thing is beautiful. Well done, Zondervan. I consider this a grand slam in every way. Offer this in more colors and you're gonna have a hit. Keep calm, Jesus on this, your Nicholas Worth.